Thank you. Um, so we've had the five new fellows present, and now we have um, the last phase of our showcase, which is some former uh, KE fellows, to talk about how their projects have lived on and, um, and what phase they're in now. So the first one is Marlena Whiting from the Classics faculty, who is an archaeologist with extensive field experience in Jordan and Syria. Mm -hmm. She's working with UNESCO's Amman of Office for Site Consolidation and Preservation of the Nabataean Temple Complex at Kirbet et Tanur, Jordan, and preparation of educational material. The longer-term aim is to develop preservation strategies that involve the local community. And um, she can tell us. Um, thank you. So I held my fellowship uh, from October last year until March of this year. And uh, the main focus of the undertaking, from my perspective, was the production of these educational materials that we mentioned. So um, a booklet, um, specifically, and videos designed for the general public to bring the academic research that had been carried out on Hirbet Tenor to a wider audience. Um, and this was mainly focused um, initially on audiences in, jo um, in Jordan. So. Uh, the idea was that by working with UNESCO, we would be able to um, raise the profile of the site um, within Jordan, and um, also the idea of um, engaging with the site long term and embedding it within the local community as a, as a heritage resource mm -hmm. um, was was part of the long term goals. Um, the emphasis there is, of course, on, on long term, and I held this uh, fellowship for six months, and uh, mm -hmm. especially in places like Jordan, six months isn't really quite enough time for such grand schemes to take off, off the ground. Um, I was very fortunate that it was my work on this project and my, my KE fellowship that enabled me to get a uh, research fellowship from the uh, Council for British Research in the Levant to be based at the British Institute in Amman for a further six months to continue with this work and to continue with my own research which was dovetailing with this site and the idea of pilgrimage and continuity and adaptation from one religious tradition to another. Um, so being based in Amman for six months um, uh, which was really a direct I think um, outcome of having the, the KE Fellowship um, allowed me to continue to meet with um, uh, my partner at UNESCO and we even managed you know, a site visit to really um, identify some of the, um, the, the root of the issues and the, the, the way that um, the whole uh, concept would have to be set up. Um, and, uh, but it also enabled me to also see where it fits in the larger pro program of, of the heritage um, philosophy that's changing in Jordan and the important and, and how many different projects there are and how, how they are all approaching the problem. Um, some working with UNESCO and, and, and others not to see how these different um, bodies work. And the e emphasis is again, sort of um, very slowly. <laughs> um, so, um, Following on further from that, um, having had first the KE Fellowship and then the CBRL Fellowship, I was awarded a uh, Dutch National Science Foundation Early Career Fellowship, and I'm now at the University of Amsterdam for a three-year stint. Again, they're very interested in knowledge exchange and uh, presenting and communicating research to the public. So I think that my background in knowledge exchange and credentials, having done, produced this booklet and material, um, uh, was really, really key for them in awarding me this fellowship. So um, other things that have come out of it, um, the booklet is now in the design phase. So we're hoping, firstly, that it's going to be available in, to Jordanians in Jordan. We're going to have it translated into Arabic and um, also be available online. Um, some of the artifacts from this site are in the Jordan Museum and very prominently displayed, um, but there's no little you know, guidebook that you can pick up um, from, the book sh from the shop to tell you more about the site, which is somewhat remote and not often visited. Um, another positive outcome was with the increased um, uh, visibility of this project um, through the KE stuff and the, and the publication that we were doing, the, the academic publication and the promise of this general public, uh, general um, 
interest publication was that the uh, Cincinnati Art Museum um, in the United States, which holds the other half of the artifacts from this site, um, became, was interested in, in renovating their Nabataean collections. So they're now very interested um, in getting involved with us, and that's a, no a whole other audience now for the material that we've been producing um, as a result of the Knowledge Exchange Fellowship. So uh, I can say that uh, from a perspective of our project and what we want to get out to the world about um, Kiribati Tenor, this, uh, the Knowledge Exchange Fellowship was extremely beneficial, and it was also extremely beneficial to me uh, from a personal, professional standpoint, and uh, I'm very pleased with where it's gone. So thank you.